Hello guys, you're welcome to the episode, second episode of how to be an on-air personality and you know, to board a wide large area. So, let's continue the lesson today. And yes, this is how a studio looks like. So, last week, a quick recap, talked about the logbook, talked about the program schedule, talked about the advert shadows and advert shadows are very very important because you are the ones who pay the bills so you don't want to miss an advert and then logbook discipline helps you to feel the logbook is very important it's a breakdown you record your activities so today we're going to be looking at working with the system sit down working with the cursor all right the cursor now usually in the studio you don't have you would not have a cursor like this it's usually going to be a, a bigger one, but basically the cursors are tied to channels, all right? The channels are tied to specific activities, all right? So this channel is all leads up here and tied to another channel. This channel is lead, leading somewhere, you know, this two leading somewhere. So each of these channels are how to uh, maybe the backup system or the main system I remember that I said for some studios use virtual DJ as their operating application some others use Jazzla and the Jazzla is what we use and Jazzla is quite proficient because it records every minute activity on it and then you can always keep the record so if something has got to be played exactly 7.30 and it doesn't go exactly 7.30 the Jazzler indicates that at the exact time you went and so it's always very easy to fix okay so uh, an OAP has got to learn how to first handle the cursor the cursor has definitely a lot of buttons the buttons have a lot of functions but the basic is there are buttons that put the microphone on. Remember that I said that each of these outlets on the cursor are tied, they're very connected to an output. All right, so we say microphone output, you say the system output, you say the backup output, you get a main system out, uh, output, you get a call output, you know, all of that output. But basically, you see, the activity is. Once the buttons are rightly put, and then you look down on and lean the cursor this way. Now, if once it's down, it means nothing's happened, but once I take it up, it means uh, something's bad happened, I put on the button. Now, if I'm talking and, 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 and saying something like the old school way where you say, you, you're listening to voice sitting up on an FM for instance my name is you know that usual way up and down basically that's our talk okay so handling the cursor usually for studios cursors are, uh, are very different quite different because uh, maybe the taste the expectation and the output demand some studios have something small some studios have something bigger you know so you have to learn that there's usually no defined role you always have a sound engineer who can take you around things, and then you can learn that. You can learn that. But also, you know, uh, now that you have a picture of what it does, maybe if you ask questions, it can work. So let me know if you have questions. Next week is another time you get to learn. All right, we gotta go sleep right now. See ya.